Okay, here we have the light. We've got the sensor temporarily set up for motion. Wired in. Right now it's on full brightness. That's a 60 watt equivalent LED. It's a uh, 10 watt actually. There's the information on it. 810 lumens, 4000 Kelvin color, 60 watt light. And it's a dual bright sensor. Currently, that's what it's drawing. And it should dim down. Notice when it dims down, the wattage goes way down, but the lumen output is still pretty high. It's almost hard to notice that it gets dimmer. Yeah, it's a simple bulb holder inside, which I'll show you in a second. This allows the light to come on at dusk, half power. As soon as it senses motion, it goes to full power. You can select how long you want it to stay on. I've got it set to one minute. After one minute, it goes down to half power again. The light will stay on at half power three hours after dusk. You can set that as well, three hours, six hours, or I think that, or dusk to dawn. And uh, I've got mine set currently to three hours, so they aren't dimmed down right there. You see the watts at half power, essentially. So uh, after the uh, light comes on, it does a countdown, and after three hours it turns off completely, until it, unless it sees motion, and then it pops on to full brightness. And of course it uh, has a photo cell, so it doesn't come on during the day. It's the uh, Heath Zenith with dual bright. Pretty nice all-in-one unit making life easy. So, here we are, half, let's see if I can get it to come on, where you can see both. You can see the wattage jump up. It goes to full brightness again. That's the unit. I'll do a pipe tap and put it right into the light. Here's the controls. This is the dual bright sensor for motion. You've got your range adjustment for motion sensing. How long you want it to stay on after it senses motion and then the feature for the half brightness after dusk you want it to either be three hours six hours or dust to dawn or off altogether I set mine to three hours seems to be working pretty darn good yeah, it says that it does not recommend it with LEDs works just fine I guess we'll see over time if it diminishes the life of the LED Here's the instructions on how to set it. Pretty straightforward. It's got the tells you the range. You can adjust the sensitivity. There's the specifications. I'm pretty darn happy with this. These will these coach lights will line my driveway so that they act as marker lights at half brightness at dusk basically shut off after three hours to conserve power and uh, if you were to drive up the driveway they would pop into full brightness so it uh, to light up the drive a little bit better but at least you can see them as marker lights at half brightness which is still pretty darn bright and then uh, they go off after three hours and if you decide to come in real late after a night of snowmobiling or debauchery, they will uh, sense motion and pop to full brightness for one minute and then shut off again. So I'm pretty pleased with this. Very, very low power consumption and uh, pretty happy with the uh, the result there. A lot, of, a lot of light output. I think I'm going to line the top of this on the inside with something reflective. Either spray on some uh, adhesive and line it with some aluminum foil or something I haven't made up my mind yet so that it will 
bounce the light back because the lights themselves are somewhat omnidirectional but uh, there's a lot of light going up and being lost that I think I can bounce back and probably inexpensively so that's, that's what the light looks like I bought these on Amazon They're like uh, 10 bucks a piece but over time should save a ton of cash in energy consumption. Yeah, that's better. Oop. 810 lumens, 4000 Kelvin, 10 watt, which it's just under 10 watt, and the uh, life rating 22.8 years, which is pretty ridiculous because uh, no one really knows. But we'll see. Hmm. Maybe I paid way too much for a light bulb. But uh, I'm an energy Nazi, and if I can save energy, I'm into it. Okay, that's it. There's the project. Pretty happy with the results. Thanks a lot. Come on, you can't, monkey boy.